Hello, this week's video is going to be hopefully pretty short because not very much interesting stuff happened this week and I don't want to make a long, boring video. So Savannah is off working this week in California and I haven't gotten that much done as far as working on the boat. Um, most of the work right now is researching, you know, learning about our GPS, researching um, on stuff I don't even remember, so I must have really learned a lot, huh? So I'll just have a couple clips of the couple interesting things that did happen this week, and we fixed the roller furling, fixed a couple other things, and, and did a little bit of work, but it'll just be kind of quick running you through it all. Um, I really appreciate everybody watching the videos every week, so I didn't want to like let you down. It's been a long time since I haven't posted a video. You know, I'm not going to try and make something out of nothing, so it'll be, it'll be quick. Other thing that I want to do is run everybody through... Uh, I haven't talked very much about like the solar setup, and I think that's something that might interest some people. And you know, Savannah's working, so you know what they say: while the wife is away, the solar specifications will be relayed. All right, I'm up here at the top of the mast. I don't have the mics or anything, unfortunately. So the jib, the roller furling got jammed up because the halyard it didn't get wrapped. The halyard got stuck in this groove right here and the extrusion in it. I don't remember if it was stuck in the unbent one or the bent one, but it got pinched in there and that's what was going on and that's the damage to the halyard when I pulled it out. So this is great. But this is what I thought was seized up, so I'm glad to see that's great. I lubricated it just in case, but really just need to make sure that that doesn't happen again. The water level is still very, very high. But we finally ended our five day streak of just insane wind. Day and night, super windy. Well, I've gotten countertop cut for the piece over the oven. And for the center section, finally got the countertop cut. It's not glued down or installed all the way yet, but it's at least all cut out and ready to go down. I took our old grill and I installed a new burner in it because the old one was totally rusted out. Here's the old burner as you can see it wasn't really up to the task. Big old soft shell turtle. What a cool animal. I like it when he blinks like that. <laughs> so we've got two 240 watt solar panels. Uh, they're about 40 by 70 inches. That's not the exact measurements, but that's really close. Um, so we got 480 watts total solar power. They run on, uh, it's a 30 volt output with a max amperage of like 7.8 about. And they're on a crypty tops like boat arch. They're not made for solar. But that thing is stout enough when we were getting our 50 mile an hour gusts out here. Those panels are not moving. I mean, the whole thing isn't moving at all. Each panel goes to its own controller. Uh, I did that just so that the batteries are isolated from each other and also for redundancy because we could run both panels and both batteries through either controller. So if one fails, we've still got power. One is a blue solar, you'll notice. Um, and the other one is a smart solar. They're slightly different models. They just have different Bluetooth control features. They're, they function basically the same. They've been working great. So it's like what charge state it's in depends on like a combination of what all the LEDs are doing. So you've got to like look up in this chart to see like what charge state it's in and what's going on there. I almost wish that they like printed this large on there because you, you look at it and you're like, oh, the green one's on and the yellow one's blinking. Let me get out the instructions and kind of check. So that's probably my least favorite thing about them, which is not a very big deal. And we've been running off of solar power for several weeks now just to test all that out and make sure that it's working and that we can keep up. All right, well, thanks a lot for watching that. And hopefully I was able to keep it really short. Um, next week should be a normal great episode. We're going sailing tomorrow, so we'll see what happens there. That'll be exciting test out all of our latest fixes. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, exciting changes coming up as we're getting really close to heading to Florida. The, hmm, wow, off to a great start already.